What up, Internet? Welcome back to Paper Mario. I'm glad you're here. And welcome to Dredge Red Desert, the largest part of the world. Uh, game, pretty much. Colorado is searching out mysteries as usual. He seems to be looking for ruins here. Uh, thanks for telling us that before I even showed off. Ooh, it's Colorado. It's the archaeologist Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and an explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. He's wild about treasures and ancient secrets, so he's always taking off around the world on some adventure. This is a Koopa Trooper from the Excavation Team. The team is assisting Colorado. People say the excavations are about as boring as you can imagine until you find something. I bet that's true. Alright, let's get out Cooper. He always wanted to meet Colorado. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden. What? Whoa! You're Professor Colorado! It's Cooper! I live next to you! It's so great to see you! I never would have expected to meet up with you out here! I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario! I want to be an archaeologist like you! Hello there, Cooper! It's been ages! So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Any time, really. For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Whoa, okay! As soon as we're done saving the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I will go exploring, yeah. <laughs> Cooper's such a fanboy. <laughs> well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? Oh, is he just gonna say the same thing? Oh, yeah. To get the, to the desert town Dry Dry Outpost, go due east on this path. I'd be careful not to stray from the path if I were you. You may find some trouble and you'll definitely get lost. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now we're waiting on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try to bring back some information. Did you know the people of Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? What a cool thought, huh? People who have been living there are watching over the ruins for many generations. Yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, I don't really care what you guys say. I'm straying off the path because there's a lot of good stuff that's hidden. Like, tons of badges are hidden along these paths. I can't remember exactly where they all are, but that'll be part of the fun. Alright, I'm gonna avoid as many enemies as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. These guys are mean. Trust me, you want to kill him as fast as possible. If you don't do the action command, they'll steal your money. This is a bandit. Bandits bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to 10 coins. Max HP 5, attack power 2, defense power 0. They'll slyly approach and then slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they can make off of our loot. Yeah, bandits are one of my least favorite enemies in the game. So I say fa fight every enemy you see. This is one of the exceptions because there are way too many enemies in Dry Dry Desert for it to be worth it. I just ignore pretty much all of them after you've tattled on them. Also, you notice that they had two attack power and yet I'm doing the action command and it's not damaging anything. That's thanks to damage dodge. And yeah, defending against their attacks, it's hard. But if you can hit them, then you get your coins back, which is nice. Alright. No more bandit fights for me, please. Yeah, you can just find a ton of stuff. This, this is the least exciting part of the desert, believe me. The desert. <laughs> that is how it is shed. Also, jump on every rock. Hi. Nope. Nope. No, I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. I actually, believe it or not, I'm going to run away here. Whew! Just made it. So if you run away, you have to tap A, and you lose, like, 
a few coins. I only lost one, though, because I ran off screen before I could lose more. One of these rocks has a hidden badge on it. Just can't remember which one it is. Ooh, cacti. Oh, that's right! Pokies! How could I have forgotten about Pokies? I was wondering why we hadn't seen them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Four of them? This is a Pokey, an evil cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense power 0. Be careful fighting them. It'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements. Let's beat them quickly. Cooper is your best friend for this battle. Man, they're all doing the fall on you attack. Except that one. Alright. Power Shell is amazing. Ooh, actually, no. I'm using Refresh. Gotta keep that FP up. Thankfully, there can only be four enemies on screen at once. So, if there are four Pokies, they can't call in more Pokies. Alright, and now I'm going to focus. Replenish the uh, star power meter a little bit, don't you know? Yeah, see, it only refills it a little bit. But that's better than just doing nothing. Goodbye, Pokies. <laughs> Give me star points. Yes! That was lucky! You get dried fruit! Fruit found deep within dry dry desert restores 15 HP. You need dried fruit for several recipes in the game. That is like the only way that, to make certain recipes. And it is very annoying to get because you literally can only get it from enemies in the desert and they have a very low chance of dropping them. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the rock I want this thinking. Yep! We get the attack FX C badge! Changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Well, that's a quip it. What a sound. So I am just gonna check every screen down here. Most of the secrets are in the lower half of the desert. And now that I've found that hidden badge, I can go for the screens faster. Oh. I, I'm gonna get, a, uh, get, a, get, 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 get out Goombario. More rocks and sand! It'd be really easy to get locks, ro lost around here. Yes, it would. As long as we stick to the path, it's easy to go from Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Outpost without getting lost. Since so many people use this path, the desert sands can't cover it up. Well, that's useful. You see, there's just enemies everywhere in the desert, because it's so huge. So I would ignore them. Especially, and if you've got Speedy Spin, that's much easier to do. The desert wind constantly builds up and tears down the sand dunes. They say it constantly changes, but it pretty much looks the same to me all the time. Man, the desert is much bigger than I remember. Actually, it's about the same size, who am I kidding? Move it, Pokies. By the way, there's one screen that has like 50 Pokies on it. It's up very high, though. Pokies everywhere, oh why are there Pokies everywhere? Okay. More secrets, please? Okay, Stone Cactus. So this is a Tweester, not actually an enemy. If you t uh, go into them, they'll blow you to a random screen in the desert. And by that I mean each Tweester has like a set location it will always blow you to. So 
Keep that in mind. I usually ignore them. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow the path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost awaits at the path's end. He's a nomad mouse. He looks like he's in mid-journey. I bet he has some amazing stories to tell. A wandering nomad mouse? Roaming the world? No responsibilities? So lucky. Goombario, that's pretty much what you're doing, let's be honest. Look, it's unbearably hot out. I'm getting pretty fed up with it, if you want me to know the truth. Isn't there somewhere we can stop for a rest? Want the secret badges? Hey Mario, are you thirsty at all? I'm parched. Really thirsty. Totally dried up. Wait a minute. My mouth is really dry! Maybe that's why they call it Dry Dry Desert. No. Ooh, yeah! This is the... S okay, Blue Cacti. When you reach the screen of Blue Cacti, you actually want to enter Tweester. Because... He drops you, and we can get the Spin Attack Badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a Spin. So that's kind of like First Attack, but a bit easier. Yeah, you can't get that unless you go through Tweester. Ooh, Stopwatch! That can be useful. Let's get it. We'll need Cooper. We get a stopwatch. If it works, it paralyzes all enemies for a short time. I thought I had another sleepy sheep I could get rid of. You know, we don't really need a super soda. I decided we don't really need a super soda. Okay, hi there. Oh, okay, we're back here. Also, if you're wondering how in the world would you find a lot of these secrets, there are hints. Like, there's a guy in Dry Dry Outpost who will kind of give you hints as to where the secrets are. Oh, no, it's Bandit Land. Do these all have a ton of points in them? Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. I've actually never done this before. I'm gonna get rich! All the bandits apparently just clipped off the screen and are not coming back. I am all for that. And here's the oasis. And yes. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? I'm starting with Goombario. I use him a lot. Do we want to upgrade this member? Heck yes. Goombario, at this point, will go from being like pretty good to like amazing now. Goombario is upgraded to super rank. So now Goombario deals two damage per head bonk and he gets a charge ability. So he can literally just keep charging and then deal ridiculously high damage. It's awesome. So we will be coming back to the Oasis, never fear. We'll have to. No! Do not want to fight you. Oh, well, if it's just this many, then yeah, that's fine. And it's a good chance to show off Gumbario's new attack power. Say, so, yeah, you'll notice now he's got charge, which it does take FP, but... More importantly, two damage! So now is actually more powerful than Mario. Who you want to level up really depends on which partners you use more and which ones you like using. For me, I really like Goombario, and I really like Bombette, so they will be the two that I upgrade first. Paracarry is going to be the partner I upgrade last. Oh, that's it, one coin. Lame. Make sure you hit all of these palm trees.
That one has a letter! A letter to Mort T in Koopa Village. And welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Hooray! Welcome, travelers! You must have had a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this town, entire town, so you'd better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, yeah. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, yeah. Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. Uh, okay then. Yeah, this is the guy who tells you the secrets. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. I'm not sure how to find it exactly, however. You should go there, huh? Yeah. Hey, want to hear something else? I know lots of other stuff. Useful stuff. Hey. So yeah, he was telling you which screen had the Attack FXC badge on it. And this looks suspicious. Temporarily closed. Red palm tree. Sweet. Are you from Toad Town? Wow, that's a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? Nope, never heard of it. Sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items, or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend, this guy. Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. And here... Okay, yeah. Hmm? Are you addressing me? A composer am I, writing songs while I try. <sighs> I wish I could find some lovely, heart-moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. Well, we will remember that, dude. A brother and sister who are very close to live atop Shooting Star Summit. I've met them both. The brother Mermo collects star pieces and will trade badges for them. The sister Mermovely is a fortune teller who will tell you where to find badges. I know that. Well, hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Oh, man, that's not good. Long ago in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. A mouse, a king Musta, King Mousta ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects. In the uprising that followed, Dry Dry Kingdom was ruined. King Mousta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. King Mousta's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I'll take a nap. Toad House is blah, blah, blah. Poison dreams. This bed does not look terribly comfortable. That looks like a very itchy blanket. Ooh! Also, if you go back here... Hidden little area. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merly, you see. That's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Yes. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Just pick one now, if you would. I'll pay as much as I can. So, here are the very mismagic spells. And I'm actually going to take the special course. Well, we're ready. Tally-ho! And here we go. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, no, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. So basically, that spell is going to help me out in battles. It, like, randomly in battles, stuff will happen where it'll be like, Hey, you'll be invincible for this turn. Or like, hey, you'll get more money for beating the guy. Or hey, the best of all, you'll get double the star points. And if that happens during a boss fight, 
well, it's awesome. And also, if you pay for the special course, it will happen more frequently, and it will last longer, so it's worth it. Someone who gives fiends is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. I don't have anything to give you, man. Well, goodbye. Nothing that you would like. So now that that weird shopkeeper was talking to him, he'll be going back to the shop and he'll reopen it. Hooray! Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned Little Mouser Shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? I'd like to check some items here. I can check 32 more items. What do you want to check? I will check my dried fruit for one. I'll stash it for you. What else do I want to stash? I'll stash a super shroom. Uh, I want to stash one more fane. Let's see. I'll stash maple syrup. All the shops have the same stash. You can stash fanes at this shop and then go back to the Toad Town shop, and you can take the same fanes out. But he only has 32 spaces, so... Don't rely on it. Alright. Time for us to explore Dry Dry Desert a bit more. And by that I mean we're just gonna go back here. No, Pokey! Yuck. No thanks. Yeah, so you'll see now I'm... Oh, I only lost two coins. Normally you waste like five. Alright. Let's go here. And we get a lemon. Fruit found in a desert oasis restores one HP and two FP. And if we hit the other tree... We get a lime. Fruit found in the desert oasis restores three FP. I want two lemons, actually. You'll see why in just a bit. And I'm kind of disappointed we didn't see Chuck Gizmo in this town. Welcome, Traveler. This is the renowned Little Mouser Shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? I want you to check one of my lemons and my lime. We'll be using those for recipes later. Hey! Speak of the devil! He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops up in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute! Quiz! Everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Gizmo! We're gonna try the quiz and let's go to the question! And check out the audience. We've got Luigi, one of the Koopa Bros, a penguin, a shy guy, a toad, a Goomba, a Lakitu, a Boo, and two Yoshis. What ability does Goomba you frequently use? That's Tattle. That's correct! Congratulations, here's your star piece! You've correctly answered three questions so far. Yeah, 64 questions. This is gonna take a while. Alright, you... This is chic. You'd think this guy could shake the dust from his clothes. I didn't know he was an information trader. I'd say we should steer clear of him. Still, he's our best source for gossip. As adventurers, we have to deal with all kinds. I'll give you something. I'll give you my lemon. Oh, heavenly! A lemon, the nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. Please tell me how to see Mustafa. To find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember, dried shroom first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, yes, understand? No, you've been very helpful. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Yeah, we need to see Mustafa in order to get to Dry Dry Ruins, alright. Dried Shroom will be two coins. Yeah, I guess. And Dusty Hammer will also be two coins. Thanks for making it the two cheapest items in the shop. Whoa, ho! Buying a Dusty Hammer after a Dried Shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa knows. That means you're in with Mustafa. 
Hey, brother! Nice to meet you. Have you got any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. So the Dusty Hammer, you basically throw an old hammer, it damages an enemy, only deals one damage, and the Dry Trim only heals one HP, which is terrible. And now Mr. Sheik is gone, and this house has nothing in it. How grand. <laughs> oh, please, Joe. Thank you, Mario. Ooh, a letter to the traveling nomad mouse on the road. It's Sheik's house. Hey, nice guy. We meet again. I'm glad you found me. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I've heard you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. We get the Pulse Stone! The closer we get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow it where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest, and use it to open the way. Thanks, man. da 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 dum she revealed his true self! I guess that means he's the boss everyone talks about. Oh, I was expecting Mustafa to look a lot cooler. Dude, he's right there! Seriously. Alright, let's go to Dry Dry Ruins, but first... We still have more secrets to uncover. For example, there's supposed to be triple palm trees around somewhere. Ooh, also I need to talk to the traveling nomad mouse. Ah, uh, one coin is not worth that. Oh, actually, there's a lot of- there's two more things that we need. Here we go, triple palm trees, and boom! We get the Runaway Pay Badge! Let's Mario earn star points even if he escapes from battle. Actually, that's a pretty terrible badge. So let's be honest, by the time you've actually earned star points from the battle, you're probably almost done with it, and it's worth just finishing it off. Only one coin? Alright. Well, we've got a letter to Nomad Mouse, so let's talk to him with Paracarry out. If you go southeast from here, you'll reach a beautiful desert oasis where lemon and lime trees grow. It's nice and cool. It's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding area. If you plan on reaching the oasis in one piece, be careful. Traveling Nomad Mouse, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered, and Postman's job is never done. A letter for me? From Mustafa. I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate, please take it. And we get a star piece. Yeah, you usually get star pieces for delivering letters. Not always. Sometimes you get something different. It's worth delivering the letters, though. I'll just say that. Okay, hi, Tweester. No, thank you. Oh, I should... Alright, I don't need either of those, and I'm about to get free items, so... Oh, really? I thought Mario made, like, a face when he... A, like, a bleh face when he ate that. Guess not. Okay. I really want to hit this block. Fire flower. Not what I was expecting. I actually don't want that. I'm getting better stuff. Okay, here we go, here we go. This block, you'll notice it's already been hit, yet I've never been on this screen. 
Hit it, and we get a mushroom. However, keep hitting it. And we get a super shroom. Now, here's a really good secret. If we hit it, I believe, a hundred times, we get a fur item. As to who found this trick out, I have no idea. But mad props to them. As the item you get for this is extremely rare. There we go! We get an Ultra Shroom! An Ultra Fine Mushroom restores 50 HP! Okay, get out of here, Dusty Hammer. We don't need you, and we don't want you. Although I was going to cook it, but... That really wouldn't do anything. Alright, Pericary? No. Goombario is where it's at. You know what? I'm actually not even going to hit those. Oh! Well, we're not going to Pokeland. Pokeland is to further east. Here we go. Put the pulse stone in there. An awesome cutscene. And it suddenly turns night to make everything much more dramatic. This is so cool. I love this scene. Welcome to the second dungeon, Dry Dry Ruins. It's amazing, and I have full HP, so let's go inside. Blue blah! I'm the huge, scary Tutankhamun, Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known! Be gone from this place! Now, or disaster will befall you! Well, we'll find out what that is on the next episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and you really should tune into the next episode because this dungeon is fabulous. Have a great day, and God bless.